In this video, we're going to learn about the clamp function in CSS. And we're going to see how this function can allow us to create fluid typography in our website. We're also going to see how this function will allow us to write less media queries for our responsive text. And we're going to be using this simple example here to understand how this clamp function works. So I have this H1 here and I have this P. This H1 has a font size of 6 rem and this P has a font size of 3 rem. Now, if you don't know what fluid typography means, fluid typography is a concept where the font sizes of your text grows or shrinks depending on the screen screen size and we're going to see how that works in a second so here we have these sizes for our h1 and these sizes for our p and this looks fine on a screen with a width of 1300 pixels if we reduce this screen size well this still looks good but at this point here now this looks too big for this size so now you'd want to make your text responsive and you might immediately want to reach out for media queries so here we can say media max width of 800 pixels which means 800 pixels or less then we want the h1 to have a font size of 4 rem and we want the p to have a font size of 2 rem now this way once you get to 800 pixels the font size reduces which is nice but at this point again it is still big so you want to create another media query and here we are going to watch for 600 pixels or less and then the h1 is going to have 2 rem and the p is going to have 1 rem so at 600 pixels or less you have this 800 pixels or less you have this and then for big sizes you have this now this is a simple way to make your text responsive but like i said earlier with the clamp function you can do without media queries but before i show you how the clamp function works let me show you a simple example of fluid typography so here instead of using a static size like 6 rem we can use 10 vw which is going to be 10 percent of the viewport width and for this p we can use 5 vw which is going to be 5% of the viewport width, which means that in this case, if our width is 1000, then the H1 is going to have 100 pixels. And for this P, 5% of the viewport width is going to be 50 pixels. And if your viewport width gets bigger, the text grows. And if your viewport width gets smaller, the text shrinks. And this is an example of fluid typography. But the problem here is that we do not have boundaries. So if your screen is very big, let's say somebody is viewing your website on a 2000 pixels screen it means that all your texts are going to be very big and if somebody is viewing your website on 200 pixels this is going to be very tiny and this is where the clamp function comes in so you have your fluid typography but the clamp function allows you to specify a minimum boundary and a maximum boundary so that your relative font sizes do not exceed these boundaries now let's see how it works so for our h1 we can say font size then we have clamp the clamp receives three parameters the first is the mean the second is your preferred size and the third is the maximum size the maximum boundary now we're going to do a bit of calculation here so for the mean we can say that we don't want the h1 to be less than 3 rem we also don't want the h1 to exceed 6 rem so 6 rem is the maximum now for this preferred size this is where we can use the relative size like 10 vw now let's quickly see how it works before we do some calculation you can see that at this point the text is growing but it gets to a point where even though i'm increasing the width of the viewport the heading is not growing anymore if we get to this point you can see it's reducing but we also reach a point where it doesn't reduce anymore even though we're reducing the viewport this is because of the boundaries that we introduced in the clamp function now let's see how this clamp function is actually doing its calculation so let's convert all these sizes to pixels i'm going to keep this at 1000 so at 1000 if we're converting all of these to pixels 3 rem is going to be 3 times 16 which is 48 pixels 16 is the base size for 1 rem and then 6 rem is going to be 6 times 16 which is 96 pixels and 10 VW for 1000 viewport width is going to be 100 pixels. So this means that when the width of the screen is 1000, 100 pixels is more than 96 pixels. The size of your text is going to stay at 96 pixels. It's not going to exceed 96 pixels. But if we come down to 900 viewport width, at 900, this is going to be 90 pixels, which is 10 VW. Because 90 pixels is less than your maximum, 96 pixels 90 pixels as your preferred size would be used if we should go to 400 and we get to 400 10 vw is now going to be 40 pixels and because 40 pixels is less than 48 
8 pixels, then 48 pixels will be used. So even if you go less than 400, because 10 VW is less than 48 pixels, your heading stays at 48 pixels, which is 3 rem here. So this is how the clamp allows you to specify those boundaries such that as your fluid typography grows or shrinks, it is confined in those boundaries. Now what you want to note when using the clamp function is that you want to specify a preferred size that can work with these boundaries. Well, what do I mean by this? Let's say you specify a preferred size like 2VW. At 1000, 2VW is going to be 20 pixels. Now, 20 pixels is already less than 48 pixels, so our text is going to stay at 48 pixels. But see, even if I reduce the screen, nothing is happening to the text. The text stays at 48 pixels. That is because you have already specified a relative size of 20 pixels, which is already less than the minimum, so the clamp is going to choose the minimum and this is the same thing if you should choose maybe a font size like 50 vw at 1000 50 vw is going to be 500 pixels so if we should refresh you can see that this is already stuck at 96 pixels because that is a maximum and even though you reduce the width of the screen you can see that the font size is not changing it only changes when it gets to this point here well the reason for that is you already specified a high relative unit such that it's going to stay at 96 pixels for a while until 50 vw becomes less than 6 rem this is very important to know because this might be the reason why your clamp is not working this also took me some time because when i started using clamp i would often be wondering why is my clamp not working so you can stay within the range of 10 vw maybe 5 vw 7 vw that works well so now i can remove this line we're done with our calculation and now we have our fluid typography which has a maximum boundary and a minimum boundary let's apply the same concept to our p here and by the way you can use this clamp function with width, height, anything that requires sizes in your CSS, but you'd often find it used with font sizes. So here we can say that we want the P to have a minimum of 1.2 rem and want it to have a maximum of 3 rem. Now if we should refresh at 500, you can see that this text is already big. The reason for that is because we have 10 VW and 10 VW for 500 is 50 pixels so let me do the calculation down here 50 pixels 3 rem is 48 pixels 1.2 rem is oh wow what's the calculation let me just keep this at 1 rem for easy calculation so this is going to be 16 pixels so you can see that the font size for the p is already big even at the small screen because we have this here so you want to specify something smaller like maybe 5 vw now 5 vw is going to evaluate to 25 pixels now this looks nicer and as your width of the screen grows this grows and then it is capped up at 3 rem so even if your screen is wise is wider it's still going to stay at 3 rem let's take this back to 2 1.2 rem it doesn't go less than 1.2 and it grows and it grows and it stays here let's cap this at 2.5 rem okay now the heading is bigger which looks nice so this is our fluid typography with our clamp function where we specify the boundaries and in this case we don't even need these media queries we don't need this we don't need this we don't need this this was just for our calculation we can remove this and here is how i've been able to use the clamp function to achieve our fluid typography you would see this used a lot especially in modern applications because this is an easier way to make responsive text without having to use media queries talking about the browser support well the browser support for clamp is nice and also to mention clamp is doing a bit of combination with your min and your max functions i'll create separate videos where i talk about those functions so i hope this example here and the little calculations we did shows you how the clamp function works in css where i have more videos where i simplify different concepts in css you should find some of those videos currently on the screen you can check out any of them and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like share with others subscribe for more simplified css videos like this